Good morning, everyone. I am Dida Pajan Gutiwat, and today I will talk about the topic of ethical versus economic values. And this is the table content for today's presentation. And now let's get to know what does it mean by values. Value is defined by the meanings of utility from person who experienced, enjoyed it, and appreciated the object. The value also help to guide individuals in their decision making to act in their best way. And in our daily life, the activities such as studying, eating, and sleeping lead us to the final goals of having a good life. And then it further leads us to the happiness, so-called well-being. The final goals here in the middle of the screen can be divided into two values, which are intrinsic value and instrumental values. The intrinsic value is like to the intrinsic value is inherent and is it the values that leaves or ends in the entity itself. There are no practical criteria to define which, which um, entity has the intrinsic value, but typically they are human and other intelligence beings. But for the instrumental value is like a tool that we use for achieving other things. The object will be considered valuable by the person who benefit from using it. And the objects are possible to lose its instrumental value as well. And here the example of art, art is defined as instrumentally valuable because it gives people emotional pleasure. But when it does not produce a pleasure to human anymore, the art would lose its instrumental values. The value can also be described into many more types. And what are we going to focus is the two main values, the economic and ethical values. For the ethical values, Economic value is like the monetary value that can be measured or categorized by the terms of money. It can refer to the exchange of utility, capitalize the values of goods and shareholders' values. For the ethical values can be what can be like what is affirmed as moral in human behaviors. It refers to the standards, orientation, and objectives that influence people's actions. The example of the ethical values can be the impartiality, fairness, justice, and many, many more. And all of these show that ethical values are usually carried by human practices. In the past, ethics and economics had been seen as unrelated and irrelevant. But in 1970s, people were calling for the business ethic with a desire to raise awareness about the social economic. So business ethic has emerged. Business ethic concern both ethical and economic value at the same time in many aspects. For example, it can be the relationship of interdependence like the organization and employee. But to create both value together in the same time is really difficult because it requires business practices in the proper way. And it's also important to know that ethics and economics should not override or separate from each other. They should be integrated with the appropriate and standardized business practices. And so today I have chosen the company as an example, which is called Patagonia. Patagonia is a designer of outdoor clothing and gear. In the past, they used to be irresponsible and brought in money easily just to have the enough profit. That is regarding the ethical value and only focus on the economic values. But now Patagonia has changed and we shift that. They have become, we have become responsible business and having a strong mission to produce the best product that causes no unnecessary harm to the environment. Now they become aware of the ethical values more and more. The example of the practical practices from the academia can be promoting recycling, offering to fix customer courses, educating employees about the topic relating to the social economic and making the brand accessible for people with the low budgets. All of these show that Patagonia includes ethical values in their practices and the company gets a payoff at a high economic values in return. Now we're coming to the end of the presentation. Thank you for listening and next will be the Q&A session.